we go. Oh, yes, news live on what you want. They'll be back to play two more songs and have a bit of a chat. Hot diggity doggy, if you've got a question Woo. for the guys, give us a call. 1902 330 Also, try and get your request on. <laughs> there it is. How are you, lads? How, how's the tour going so far? You're easing into it, or has it been a bit of a shock to you? Ash is a big day off, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> we've been spending most of the time just going down the beach and uh, hanging around the uh, harbour and stuff, you know? It's been uh, really relaxed, hasn't it? But it's been, it's been great so far. I mean, it's the good, festival's... Good. It's been a good atmosphere on this tour. All the bands are really friendly. Yeah, the festival's been amazing, and the gig's been good, and, you know, the whole experience is enjoyable. Now, uh, we, we've heard reviews of the shows you've done so far in the country, and, uh, and they are quite blistering, the reviews of your shows. Uh, now, a lot of English bands who come up here, uh, you know, they stare at their feet, yeah. and they're, uh, they're a bit dull, to say the least, but you guys put on one hell of a show. Is that something you're conscious of doing night after night? Um, yeah, I think so. I think, you know, if I want to go and see a band, I like to see something, you know, a visual show as well as hearing music, you know, so... But it's just, I think, the kind of music we play makes us perform in that kind of way, I guess. What do you think's wrong with those other British bands? <laughs> <laughs> That's just a real lack of rock in England generally, I think. Mm. I don't think people rock out that much, you know. It's all kind of pretty mellow and... Fair it's enough. probably impossible to perform like that. So that it's quite possible. <laughs> now, uh, we're, we're going to get requests and questions from punters all day. There are a lot of people who got here, uh, you know, six to 12 hours ago just to get in the front row to ask you a question, see you perform live. Andrew G, I think, is standing by in the crowd with someone who got here at 6.30 this morning. Uh, yesterday morning. This is Lucinda from Oyster Bay. Lucinda. Um, hi, this is going back a bit, but the song Plug In Baby, what is that about? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, be You're honest, on Matt. Be honest. I can't remember now. Um, what is it? <laughs> I, read, I read some book about, like, I don't know what it was. Something to do with, um, like, uh, robots, kind of. No, no, I can't remember anymore. Hold on. What is it? My plugin baby. Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't know. I can't remember. Sorry. Was it? Uh, <laughs> was it about uh, you travelling around the world? Well, it's and just, it's got... all random. It's, it just comes out. I mean, it's random. I've got no idea what I'm singing about at all. Sorry. It's just like it's just, it's just kind of like write a few chords and that, and then just you know, improvise a few words and just hope it means something. It does mean something. Trust me. But I can't work it out myself because I'm subjective. You see. So I can't actually quite work it out. That's for you lot to work out. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with when you're travelling the globe and you, and you have trouble uh, finding a PowerPoint uh, that'll fit your Walkman or the like. If no. you want it to be. It, well, it is for me then, I guess. Uh, we've, we've got cool. a few people who've given us a call. Uh, 190 is the number if you want to ask a question to any of the bands today. Tom in Tamworth has given us a call. Tom, how are you going? Hi, I'm great, thanks. Uh, would you like to say hello to Muse? Hi, Muse. Hi there. You're Hi, right? Tom. That's a good Hi. start. Uh, yeah, uh, I've nearly worn my copy of Hullabaloo to to nothing, basically. I was just wondering when you guys are going to release a DVD of video clips. Oh, we've got to do uh, video clips as in, like, you mean, like, music videos? Yeah. Um, I don't know, actually. I mean, we're releasing some stuff on... I mean, you can get them all on the, on the website, you know? They're all on there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but... Something that I can watch on a big like, screen. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, good call. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure the next DVD will do will probably have that. That might be like some point. It might, might be between before the next album. I don't know really, but we'll see. We've okay. got we've got to start making some more good videos first, though. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you for that, Tom. Thanks. Stay on the line, we'll send you some music. Now, uh, on, in the Hullabaloo DVD, it's all very atmospheric and it's lot, quite dark. The clothing's quite dark, the lighting's quite dark. How do you adapt that show to a summery, hot summer Sydney afternoon at the big day out? Are there many changes that you need to implement? Um, I think normally when we play festivals, we just kind of just play the rock songs, really. Mm. And we kind of cut out some of the mellow stuff, you know, because, you know, I think, you know, when you go and see a band, you don't play for that long at a festival unless you're headlining. But um, I think it's good to just see a band just kind of rock out and give it loads in a short space of time. So that's normally what we do, really. But, you know, it's, uh, but you get quite hot, particularly at the big day out. Yeah, have you found that, that you're sweating your tits off continually? <laughs> Very much so, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Andrew, uh, speak of the devil, is with uh, some lovely ladies in the crowd who've also been waiting a long time. <laughs> and they're, they're far from sweaty, let me guarantee it. Megan, what was your question? Um, I was just wondering if there's a song that you like so much that you wish you wrote it. Uh, yeah, Tom Waits, Blue Valentines. I think that's, that's got like... Um, He's got the best lyrics, I reckon. I'm not, I don't think I'm very good at writing lyrics, and I think he, he's like, he's just like the best lyric writer, I think. And uh, also, yeah, that kind, of, that kind of thing. Anyone who writes really good lyrics, I respect, you know. And uh, do you have someone else down there? Yes, yeah, another, Matt, another big fan who's got the Muse T-shirt. He has. Um, he's always buy the merch if you like the band. Uh, what's your question, Matt? Um, this one's Matt. Hi, guys. 
Um, I just want to know who your um, musical inspirations were classically, and is it true that your mum taught you to talk to the dead? Talk to the dead? No, no, she, she used to do that. She was off on one, though. She was, like, boozing it up a lot. Oh, it's pissing down. There you go. And um, in, in terms of music, though, like, um, I don't know, Rachmaninoff, uh, Liszt, Debussy, Berlioz, that kind of thing. Yep. Oh, let's say uh, it's got to be wet out here, Jim. Yes, uh, <laughs> stand by. When we come back, we will have Muse electrocuted live <laughs> on TV. In the meantime, uh, while we get ready for that, get our uh, parkers on, our wet weather gear. What uh, what request can we play for you guys? Well, we can pick a video. I've, uh, yeah, I've already picked Any it. Any video oh, what, you'd what like to picking? see? We're going to choose Outcast. Hey, yeah. Fantastic. All right, while well, we uh, get the gum boots out, this is for Muse. Hey, yeah, uh, Outcast, on what you want. Please make them feel a bit more welcome. This is Muse time is running out.
big day out. Friday, tomorrow on Channel V, Saturday on Channel V, Monday in Melbourne, through the week also to Perth and uh, Adelaide. Oh my word, That's that just was a, unbelievable. A taste of what you can expect if you go to the big day out. If you miss that band, then you are a fool. And you're also a fool if you don't take your Ventolin to the big day out. Make sure you take your Ventolin and uh, if you like, make sure you Velcro it to your bass pedal board if you are in a band called Muse. Very important. Work. Still to come, we're going to chat to the Mars Volta. Black Eyed Peas, Lars from Metallica and a live performance from the Lost Prophets. As well as the darkness.